Hello, this is C7, the HOA homesteader. And it's uh, evening time, but I'm gonna extract the honey that I took out of the hive yesterday. And I'm doing so over the same guy's house who helped me, Mike. And uh, it's pretty interesting. He got everything set up in a utility trailer. And uh, we've already started, but we saved a couple of frames so we can show you guys what we're doing. Those are the honey frames. This is the bucket that we're catching the uh, wax cap. the cap wax with, and this is the uh, what is it called? The striker. One, one of the, uh, the three frame honey spinner. Three frame honey spinner. And we're gonna turn that bad boy on, and eventually the honey's gonna centrifugal force whips it to the side. You gotta flip the frames, do it again. Let the honey drain down to the bottom. Then we're gonna drain it through this double strainer and capture it in the bucket. All right, here's the first three. There's Mike, turn the machine on. It's the only problem about this little one, is it shakes. That big one there doesn't shake. <laughs> So you don't even have to mount the big one to to the ground or nothing. I put I, empty frames in there and turn it on, and it don't even shake. This one here shakes. Oh, so. I heard a lady talking about. She was surprised how much it how much it shakes. Yeah. Starting to spin it. Out. I'm gonna take try to take a look in. Okay. They ain't smell it. Guys, you guys can't really see it whipping off to the sides. It's too fast for you. The process for knowing if you got most of it out, you have to uh, stop the machine and pull a frame. So that honey has been extracted on the side. Y'all see that? The honey is out. Now do you just turn it around or do you have to flip it upside down yeah, also? Just flip it up, turn it around. Just turn it around. Oh, so yeah. You can see where oh, she's I can see all, Yeah, you can see all the way in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. See, the darker there is where she's laid brood before and then they and they've then, hatched out and they backfilled it with honey. Wow. So you will have a little bit like that patch right there. You yeah. have a little bit of honey left in there. Yeah. But they can eat that. Yeah. Leave them, leave them some resources. Yeah. One more to flip. I definitely see the benefit of using the machine. <laughs> you know, my bees have to remake everything because I scraped it with a putty knife. If you guys saw my original video. So now all this cone will be available for the, all they got to do is refill it. Okay. All right, just using this roller and it's got needles that stick out of it and it breaks the cap. We use a knife, he said, if a uh, cone was drawn out a little bit further drawn out, then it's easier to just use the knife and go this way, but when it's the way it is, it's better to use this roller. All right. Go ahead and put it in there, won't you? How do you know when it's seated all the way? It'll drop down farther. Yeah, because the lid's in the way. There you go. There you go. Okay, here's the three we spent out and just um, place those back in the cooler. And we got the other three ready to be spent. We did a good job draining what had dripped down to in the bottom of the cooler out. And this right here, I'm going to save for the bees. I'm going to set it out in the yard and they will clean that up.
And this is the last three. Not much left in there. Whip that honey right out of there. And this was the remains that came out of the uh, this book that, that we used to cap, capture the uh, cap wax. Try to get every little bit, y'all. Here we go. And there goes the liquid gold. You gotta slow down, huh? That's about to fill up. They get her go, go, go. <laughs> wow. It's the stuff the Egyptians were after right there. I uh, know. <laughs> make they make they mead. Yep. They say they went in some of them pyramids and thousands of years and the honey was still good. All right, people, this is C70HOA Homesteader. We just got finished doing everything with the honey. I got all the equipment loaded back up in the truck and it's time to go home. And once again, I thank Mike for all that he's shown me and done for me these past couple of days. And I really appreciate it. And with that said, folks, you know what the motto is. Just because you may live in the HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food or take care of bees. Thanks for visiting my channel and I'll catch you guys next time.